Hello, listeners. Caleb here again. I'm part of the pit crew at Web ROI, a full service digital marketing agency, and we're here to help you win the race online. Today, we'll be discussing social media and the challenges and opportunities that come with social media marketing. We'll also talk about how we can utilize social media to best crush your brand marketing. Now, I'm sure you're aware, social media has become quite a hot topic in the past 10 to 15 years or so. When discussing social media or social networks, we tend to think of the biggest ones that we're most familiar with here in the West. Things like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, LinkedIn, and even Pinterest. But still, there are others that you may not have ever even heard of that actually have millions of users a month, like WeChat, QQ, QZone, Baidu, Clubhouse, and Viber. Social media has also expanded beyond the traditional networks to places such as YouTube, WhatsApp, and even Discord. That was a massive list. So let's back up a little bit. What exactly is a social media network? Well, purely by definition, it's websites and applications that enable users to create and share content or to participate in broader social networking. So, as a business owner or a manager, you might be wondering, how can you utilize these massive networking platforms to turn your business into a well-known brand name? Listen along to learn more about how to utilize social media to help your brand marketing succeed and those pitfalls that you should really watch out for. Now, the thing about social media is that it's constantly changing. And I mean, almost by the day. It's important to stay on top of these changes or Hire an agency that'll take care of it for you. Social media is an incredible tool in communicating with others and with your customers. As social media changes how consumers communicate back and forth, brand marketers are struggling to keep up with the new opportunities and challenges that are created as a result. With social media networking sites like Facebook and Twitter, making it so much easier for consumers to share opinions regarding brands, products, and services, brand marketers are finding it more difficult to control their brand message than they did in the days where buzz was created by word of mouth or by something written like a newspaper or magazine. Tumblr, your Google My Business, and even things like Goodreads. The main benefit regarding social networking and social media is that they provide marketers with access to many more customers. At least 500 million consumers can be reached through Facebook and Twitter alone. This increased opportunity to reach new customers makes the associated challenges worth the headache in most cases. Now, some of these challenges that brand marketers are facing with the increased use of social networking and social media include things like marketers are no longer fully in control of the brand messaging. There's now this ability for users to post comments and replies on social networks and those can actually distract and in some cases even usurp the conversation from brand messaging. For this reason, it becomes increasingly difficult to maintain the integrity of the brand. Social media has also caused marketers to become more willing to actually stray away from that important strategy of using a brand to define what a company or product is. This means that the company or product doesn't always match up with the tone of the social media efforts. So attempts at social media marketing have actually led some brands to create an online presence that doesn't fit their brand's personality. Marketers and businesses have also sometimes used inappropriate marketing campaigns, which do not convey the brand's message, in this desperate hope that it'll go viral. Everyone wants a viral video or viral content, but to be honest, that's not the way to do it and that's not gonna work. Ultimately, with access to such a large audience, the benefits of social media and networking for marketers far outweigh the challenges and the risks. And that's great news for your business. So now what? How do you actually go about starting social media marketing? Well, let's get into it. The first and arguably most important step is determine your own brand persona. Now there's no right answer to this. Just ensure that it matches your branding and any marketing efforts that your business has put out in the past. 
Think about the tone of voice that you use when communicating with clients, either in person or virtually. A mismatch between your social media persona and your business persona can actually cause some dissonance for potential customers. Think about the look you're going for. Is it clean and minimalistic? Is it very luxurious? Or is it very casual and fun for people to enjoy engaging with? Think about the same thing for the type of verbiage and tone that you'll be using in all of your marketing and especially on social media. The next thing you'll want to consider is your target persona. Now, this is the audience that you're trying to speak to. Figure out their sex, age, income, and as many other possible details you can think of. Once you have your ideal customer or your target persona figured out, the next four elements will be easier to decide on. The first element is the actual social media networks you'll be using. Now, once you've determined your own persona and the persona of your ideal customer, you need to decide which social media networks you're going to be displaying your content on. Ask yourself, which social networks do we already use? If none, think first about your target audience. What networks are they using? Meet them there. Then think about your purpose on social media. Is it for branding or is it more for sales? If your target market is older individuals and you're really looking at sales, think about using things like Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. If you're looking more on the branding side, you'll likely be going after a younger audience. Consider using things like Snapchat and TikTok, or maybe your business is actually a combination of both. The second element is considering the frequency at which you're going to be posting. Really, just choosing how often you're going to post. If you have less than about a thousand followers, posting more than two or three times per week may actually not be providing you much value. The next thing you want to do is figure out what time of day your target audience is on social media. Try to post during those times. Does your audience have a lunch break where they're on their phones? Post then. Or is after work better or after the kids are in bed? Post then. There are many social media schedulers out there and they definitely help with efficiency, but you want to automate like a tech whiz without losing the human touch. You want to still be flexible and open to changes. If a pandemic or other major event happens in the world or even in your business, you want to ensure that you can quickly pivot. It's important to note that if you want to get the most out of social media, don't simply push out that content that you like. Social media users crave authenticity. Think about how you would behave in real life when you meet a person for the first time, if you can even remember back when we were allowed to do that. Would you like a person that immediately shoves a sales pitch in your face? How about a person that keeps blabbering on about how great they are? If you're like me, that would form a pretty poor first impression. Likewise, social media is a two way street. Share your educational blog posts and updates, but at the same time, ask for feedback and encourage discussions about your posts. Also, don't forget to occasionally entertain your followers. Take your audience behind the scenes and share a picture from your daily life. Most social media users love to find out about your company culture. Don't be ashamed to show that it's great. The next element to consider is research and optimization. Now that you know who you're targeting, you know where and when you're going to be posting, you need to determine what to post. A good rule of thumb is posting anything is better than nothing. But after that, you want to be posting regularly. So the networks and your followers recognize you as a valuable source of information. After that, you'll want to create attractive images. You'll want to optimize keywords in your captions, the hashtags that are used and add alt tags to your images. It sounds like a lot, but don't worry, we can help out with that. The next element you'll want to consider is engagement. So you'll really want to see who's engaging with you in your posts. This might be things like the likes you get, the number of follows, the number of comments, or even shares. These types of engagement are not always easy to come by. So we recommend what I call outbound engagement. That's meeting your audience where they are. Follow them, comment on their posts, reshare their content. You'll be shocked at the kind of response you get from this and your audience's likelihood to engage back with you once you have connected with them will grow exponentially. It also shows your audience that you're a team of real people with their best interests at heart, not just a big corporation trying to get their money. One additional element you'll want to consider on social media is advertising. 
So social media advertising is a form of online marketing that focuses on promoting your business and services on social media networks. Now, I'm sure you've seen ads and sponsored ads on things like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. These are a great way to reach and engage with a specific target audience online and can be used to meet a variety of business objectives, including brand awareness, customer engagement, drive website visits, and generate business leads and sales. Although social ads can also use the pay-per-click model often referred to as social PPC, they actually differ from traditional PPC in several ways, including ad formats, targeting, and ad delivery. Reach out to us if you want to learn more about these types of ads. Now, once you start posting, you'll want to actually see how you're doing. And more than anything, you'll want to identify if you're receiving a return on your investment or an ROI, just like in our company name. With social media, you have to remember this is a long-term strategy and it might take six to nine months to start seeing an ROI, but in the end, it'll be worth it. Keep track of things like the number of posts you put out and the amount of engagement you get in return so that you can use that to plan out future posts. Now, one warning that I offer is to not get caught up in vanity metrics. These are things like followers and likes. Although they're great to see improving and they're exciting to receive, your followers are not the only people seeing your posts and they're not the only people liking your content. They're also not the only ones reading them and getting information from you. There are people who don't follow you who are still being exposed to your content. Focus on metrics like your reach, and that's how many people actually see your content, and try to improve that so you can get the widest possible audience. So now we're left with the big question. What benefits does pouring all of this work and resources into social media actually have for your business? Well, lots. There's branding, exposure, communication with your audience, engagement with your audience, and also having them engage with you in return. And finally, and probably most importantly, leads and sales. Our crew at WebROI specialize in social media optimization and can help your business take advantage of the large number of consumers who are tapped into social media networks like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and more, including optimized blogging. We'll even help you advertise on social media and anywhere online. Our crew has you covered. Contact us to request a free consultation to learn more, or visit our portfolio and view our client testimonials to see how we've helped businesses in your community reach their social media goals. Whether it's websites, SEO, PPC, social media, or any other digital marketing, talk to the experts at WebROI. Visit our website today to learn more about social media and the other services we offer to help you win the race online. Visit webroi.ca, W-E-B-R-O-I.ca, or give us a call at 1-877-7-WEB-ROI. That's 1-877-793-2764. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast so you get notified every time a new episode drops. And we'll see you on the starting line.